Well, it was the ease of development with Unreal Engine that really got us the graphical capabilities of the engine. It was C++ based, so we had little issues in embedding it into hardware. Great things about Unreal Engine also is that the source code is open, so you can read what it's doing. That is very special. Sealy Auto is a company that focuses mostly on HMI development. We've been working since 2013, developing these HMIs for automotive customers, as well as tier one companies. In 2019, we started working with Unreal Engine. Now we're a gold service partner with Epic Games. OEMs tend to go more towards the real-time 3D. In earlier times, it was faking 3D, so you have videos that are being shown, but now real-time 3D is possible, especially with the latest hardware. And then there are things like the ADAS visualizations that you can see your environment, these AR HUDs, augmented reality heads-up displays, which are 3D, and they can provide additional information to the driver. Unreal Engine has basically a place in the development of high-end graphics, the visuals on the HMI, and especially the Blueprints system. It brings a lot of capabilities for the design teams without having to rely on external tools and for the developers to do what the designers want. The whole development cycle for HMI in the old days would be about five years from end to end. Now it's about three years with efficient processes and ways of working. So you can use blueprints to speed up your development from the design all the way to testing. The whole pipeline is much more efficient, especially when you're doing designs on Unreal Engine. We use Unreal Insights tools to measure the performance of the software on hardware. So having the source code access in Unreal Engine is very good, especially in cases where you have an issue and you want to figure out what's going on. You can also adopt the code that you have in the Unreal Engine to your solution. That is priceless in the development of HMIs. Definitely the North Star for HMI development is the driver safety, and then the overall user experience, the feeling, and of course, practicality. Is it a car that is meant to invoke feelings, or is it a car that needs to be used in daily operation? So it's a branding thing. That's one thing with the Unreal Engine. Uh, with its capabilities, the branding, the feeling, and the overall user experience is something that you can create.